The future of renewable fuels is expanding. The future of soybean oil and soybeans in particular is bright for a long time coming. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi and I'm visiting with Kevin Lukey. Kevin is president of Chevron Renewable Energy Group and a lot of excitement, a lot of engagement, a lot of passion right now in the agricultural space. And of course, biofuels is a big part of that. Yep. Tell me about Chevron REG and the role that you're currently playing in the space of renewable energy. Chevron believes the future of energy is lower carbon, and so that points us in the direction of biofuels for sure. We have publicly committed to uh, have a capacity goal of 100,000 barrels a day of renewable fuels capacity by 2030. Prior to the Chevron REG acquisition, which was in June, our production was around 4,000 barrels a day, pretty small. All of a sudden, with uh, the joining of REG into the Chevron family, we're producing well over 30,000 barrels a day. And we have a plant expansion in Geismar, Louisiana, that uh, will bring us well over 50,000 uh, barrels a day of total capacity for renewable fuels. So the future of renewable fuels is expanding for diesel, biodiesel, sustainable aviation. And that's just going to require more and more feedstocks like soybean oil and others that feedstocks that we use. So I think the, the future of soybean oil and soybeans in particular is bright for the U.S. for a uh, long, long time coming up. Huh? What's the headline for the soybean farmer right now as you look to the future of the industry and the relationship that you're going to have with soybean farmers moving forward? Yeah, so I think. Uh, clearly, as I mentioned, the future of fuel is lower carbon. And so how do you get there? It's more vegetable oils like soybean. The essence of this is this business is growing substantially. And we've just started to unpeel some of the demand that we need from renewable fuels uh, into our society. We really haven't been able to tackle yet sustainable aviation fuel. Again, that's a, that's a demand that is going to be out there and coming. So it's more and more uh, the need for soybean oil and oils like that to be able to produce the biofuels. Last question, you're a native of Western Iowa. You were, were raised near uh, Persia there on the, in the Western part of the state. A lot of people may think that this is kind of a strange alliance. Yep. You know, uh, Chevron and Renewable Energy Group and the soybean farmer and renewable fuels moving yep. forward. How do you plan to just build upon the foundation that exists right now as we look to the future about this very important subject? Yeah, so I grew up on a farm and I actually still farm and uh, we have about 1,300 acres in western Iowa that we farm, switch between corn and soybeans. The relationship is going to be critical and, and I did not mention earlier but Chevron has joined with a company called Bungie to expand soybean crushing capacity in two of the facilities in the U.S. and so there's there's going to be a need for more soybean crushing capacity, joining with companies like Bungie and for the farmer to be able to have more outlets for their soybeans because the demand for soy oil uh, and other vegetable oils is just going to increase over time. So we all need to play our part, whether it's a soybean grower, whether it's a seed company, whether it's a crusher, whether it's companies like Chevron REG. It's going to take all of us to make this uh, work in the long run. Which is why you're at an event like this, working and networking with soybean farmers. Again, there's a lot of optimism right now about the future of, of soybeans, the soybean industry, and a big piece of that is on the renewable fuels front. For this edition of the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putzi. Progress is a human invention. We look at our world and we imagine how to make it better. That's the power of human ingenuity. We can redefine what's possible. At Bayer, we're shaping the future of agriculture. Like farms where all life grows together. It's not impossible, it's progress.